Next up, let's have a look at the browsers in more detail. So as I mentioned before, browsers are where we come to get a more detailed view of the model. The top level view of the model can be found in the model browser. And this gives us a load of information about everything we've defined in our model. For example, we can see that we have 167 materials. And expanding this out further lets us break this down into logically grouped items again. So I can see how many elastic materials, if we've got elastoplastic materials, what formulation they are, and so on. And each of these browsers can be drilled down into just using a double click. And this opens our material specific browser where we get even more information that's required. So I can quickly just sort our columns and get all the information we need straight up front. Selecting any of these items gives us an entity editor where I can make direct edits to the material settings for individual items or for multiple selections. Browsers also contain a search bar where the user can additionally filter these items to make it a little bit easier to find what we're looking for. For example, let's build a material filter. So I'll enter the search tool and straight away we've got our previous searches, which it's saved, or we can build our own. And this has an automatically um, intelligent filter. So I can see all of the items I can filter on. I'll start with type. And once I've selected that, it will give me the next options. So I can have equals, contains, in a list, not in a list, and so on. And again, once I've hit equals, it gives me the options that are in this particular model. So I want to find all elastoplastic materials, hit enter. You'll see it's now filtered by type. And we can see that because we have a little filter funnel next to the type column. I can then append additional search criteria. So for example, I might also be looking for materials with a specific ID. And again, we can put less than, less than equals to, and type in a value. So in a couple of clicks, I can filter all of my information down. And inside of the browser, I can actually isolate those components. So any component with that material assigned is visualized in our model. 